hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to perform a nearest neighbor analysis using them arcgis right um i've only used them qgis for the same exercise we got a request from one of our subscribers that um he wants to understand the workflow using um, ArcGIS and he also wants to use um, um, pulling unit data, right? Good. So he wants to know the, the proximity of um, some pulling units in just to some what to some settlement, right? So you can see under our layers panel, we have um, the just pulling unit in red and then we also have um, some places um, in blue right good so we are going to do the same thing we have done on QGIS the other day on ArcGIS today our note still remains the same but then um, basically we are not um, using um, QGIS on today's um, tutorial right good so you can um, have the description as um, we have explained earlier um, nearest neighbor analysis or neighborhood analysis as the case may be so to achieve that we are going to search for um a tool called um generate um, near table right good so we search for good so we have what um generate um, near table under the under analysis so what does it do the brief description here states that it calculates distance and other proximity information between fissures in one or more fissure class or layer, right? Good. Unlike the near tool, because there is a similar tool called what the near tool, which actually modifies the input. The generate near table writes results to a new standalone table and supports finding more than one near fissure, right? Good. Now let's um, practicalize what we are going to um, achieve using what the same um, generate near table so the input feature is the same thing as what the the source right good so we use the drop down our source is what the pulling unit right then the near features are actually what the places right good so um on the qgis video on the video where we use them QGIS, I made them um, some emphasis on using what a projected um, code reference system for most of our data, if not for all of our data, right? Good. So if we still try to right click and then come up to the properties, you are going to see what projected um, coordinate system. You are going to see UTM zone 32, right? Similarly for the places um, layer, we also did them um, the same thing by ensuring that them um, we have our coordinates in what a projected um, coordinate system right good so having achieved that we have confirmed that our units will be what in what the linear units right good so we left our units to be either in meters or kilometers so on today's tutorial let's leave it on um, meters now there are other options the output table remember it says that it creates what a table right generates near table writes results on a new standalone table right good so that's the same output table that you have seen so by default it has created it on a what on a directory so we are going to leave it like that then the next thing is the location now this um, shaking and unshaking of this location is actually very important because it is going to help us in the visualization of our data it is left optional however it's actually very important now let's um, read the description it specifies whether the x and y coordinates of the input features and the nearest location of the near feature will be written to the from x from y near x and near y fields right when we get to the point where we have our table being um, generated we are going to see this field and then as we proceed in the tutorial we are going to see the effect of um, having this um, location field was checked right good so we can actually leave the angle we are going to what leave it off right good so um the maximum number of um, 
closest matches let's um, leave that as optional then for the method we are going to leave it what um by the default um planner right good and there is what um, a description here or the help that also describes why it should be planner or what geodesic right so having um, updated all of these um, parameters of the generate near table we can click on ok good the generate near table has run successfully and then we have what a new geodata base here which is having a table so we can just um, open it up so as we told you earlier we have what a table that has the object id the input and then the near field id is right good then we have the distances between the source point and the target point right and most importantly or very very important we have what the from x the from y then the near x and near y right good now these four fields from x from y near x near y are going to play a vital role in the next um, aspect of today's tutorial now having generated this same um, table we are now going to join it with our pulling units data using the word the joins and relates right good so we come up to the pulling units layer we right click and then we go to joins and relates we actually want to join right good so under the join data window we are joining attributes from a table then choose the field in this um, layer that the join will be based on we use it drop down and then we click on the fid right good then i um, choose the table on the choose the table to join to this layer right good so we already have the table here which is what the generate near table right good so we use this drop down it's already there then the field is what our object id right we can just decide to use the object id then we are keeping all records and then we validate our join close and then okay so if we close this up and then open this layer now down to the um, attributes table we are going to see let's maximize it we are going to see what it started from here the object id in field near field id the near distance from x from y what near x near y right good now getting towards the end of the tutorial we are now going to visualize what these distances on our what on our map right good that shows the source point to the respective what target points right so now let's close this up we are now going to use um, another tool we are called them um, xy to lines so we search for xy to lines right good so we click on this now the window is up we have the xy to line window up our input table will now be what the table that um, we have joined the generate near table right with our pulling units which will be this the start x field will definitely be what the from x right that's why i told you you are going to see the effect of what having the fields on the table so we have the from x then the start y field we have what the from y then the end x field will now be what the the target right which is now the near x and then we have what the near y right good so it's actually very important that you've actually um activated the location when you are getting what the generate um, near table right then the linear type or let's say the line type we are going to use what the geodesic which is what the default right then the id if possible we are going to use one of the ids there which um, i would prefer we use them um, the word right that w represents word then the special reference optional however it is correct that um, it's um wjc4 utm zone 32 right good which is a projected crs so having fixed all of these we can just click on okay 
which will now help us to display the lines from our source to what the different targets good so we have what the lines displayed we can zoom this to layer good and then we can change the color to something else so we can do well by working on the labels now um, we have actually labeled what the pulling units different pulling units we are just using this to what to visualize we are going to turn it up very soon you can now see the different pulling units then we now would put on what let's put this one out then we'll do same thing for the places let's um, label the fissures and then you are going to see what the different places right good so you've seen that we have moved or we have created what an analysis that um, has moved from the pulling units to what the different places right good so we are going to do a comparison very soon by comparing the results in terms of um, this um, near distance field that we have on this what um, on this table right with what we are going to have in what in QGIS right good so we have actually achieved the same result using um, QGIS which we have um, done in our previous video however we want to compare the hub distance and then possibly what the hub name right good now and the workflows are actually different but um, we can do with what the results we have so we come up to our art map then we go to the table good so i can just keep it there and then we have what this other table here right so if we compare the fields that um, we have from here good the near distance with what we have on that distance field which is what the hub distance we are going to see that the values are similar we have 185 here we have 185 we have 345 you know differences are in the decimal right good we have 935 935 and if we keep scrolling down to maybe any other id would be having corresponding distances right good and on QGIS, the hub name has been identified which means from this um, pulling unit down to maybe this hub or from this um hub down to the pulling unit has actually been defined here on our attributes table right good unlike um app map here where we have the from x to near x or maybe from y to near y and then we also have what this um our official class id which you can now go back to your attribute table to identify what each of these maybe 18 stands for what this um 13 stands for like um for the first line which we use as our reference let's um scroll up to the first line we have um buruku as the what as the hub name however we have 22 here yeah? so if you go back to what your database you are going to find out that perhaps um 22 is buruku and then if you also scroll down you are going to see that from zero let's say from one um agile starts from one however um qgis starts from agile starts from zero rather qgis starts from one so you see that um from that um one down to we have about 50 we are having the same 22 so if we also wash down to 50 maybe we are going to have what the same 22 right good so you see 49 which is actually 54 um qgis so we have what 
22 somewhere around there before we have 20 and then you also see that we have what the right top which is 51 and then you now see that the attributes table are actually similar but um, they have used them um, different um, fields and then different description of the fields to present what the result so the grad top here which is 51 is actually what um, the 20 year we had we have it which is the 20 year right good now the 51 will now continue from 52 year which is what the 52 year which is what the buruku right good down to wherever it stops so we have been able to show you using um, QGIS and then using ArcGIS to achieve or to carry out this um, nearest neighbor analysis or maybe the neighborhood um, analysis right good so um thanks for coming to class if you would also want us to um, help you do similar stuff you can as well reach out to us and then we'll get back to you as soon as possible if you have any question comment contribution leave it on the comment section and we are going to get back to you as soon as possible so until we see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye